All right. So just like last time, they talk, they mentioned event.target.elements here. So let's also console log event.target.elements. Make sure nothing's changed in between vanilla JavaScript and React. It's meant the unique HTML forms controls collection with four inputs. That last input should be our submit button. The first three are our title, our byline, and our abstract. And we don't even actually have to do that filter thing, really. In this case, we could really just call on each of them directly, right? So let's assemble a article a article article object. That the title equal events.target elements hero dot value. Same thing with the and what they're called byline and abstract. Elements one dot value. The abstract is going to be target.elements2 value. We have our object. We need to make it our function. So I'm going to say import add article. Is that what it was called? And for now, I'm just going to say, all right, add article with our article object. And then I put a dot then. And let's just see what our response is, again, with the console.log. <laughs> All right. Title React is the greatest created date by Noah Heinrich. It's actually subjective. Now if I go back if I go back to the home page, let's see if it updates everything. What do I do? Type in React, perhaps. There it is. If I click on it. All right. So something's wrong with my links here. It took me to Article Zero. Let me take a look at something real quick. Refresh this. We should see it in here somewhere. ID forty one. All right, so something's wrong with my links rendering them. And I didn't actually pass in this ID. That's my problem. But I think the site otherwise, the looks like the, the form otherwise is working the way it's supposed to be. All right, so we did this. We construct an object that resembles the following. All right, we'll then want to pass our our add article and then use the dot then function to define a callback function that should be executed when the article is I add the article promise request is resolved. So we don't want to just console dot log something, you know, it's something that happened. As far as the callback function logic goes, we ultimately want to show a success message when an article is submitted. Leave it up to us to determine how to best accomplish this, but our solution will likely involve using set state within this callback function and setting some sort of indicator within state that says the form was submitted. So they have something called this stuff say has article been submitted perhaps. We can then build some conditional logic into our render function based off the state variable that either shows the add article form or a message should appear after an article is submitted. Okay, we can do that. We're gonna need state though.
right? So what should I call this? Thoughts? Publish, said publish. Yeah, article published, perhaps? Use state, and it should initially be false. And then inside of our dot, then say <clears throat> the set article published to true. So we look at our form again, test it out. Crazy, don't mind if I do. All right, and then if we take a look at our, let's, we should be able to see our state. And it got set to true. Great. Okay, the question is okay, what do we do now? So, so, so our state. Uh, is there something we can use to do something with our form when state changes? Clear it. Clear it? Clear what? Doesn't the text those in the boxes after you hit Oh, clear the forms. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we can definitely do that as well. Uh, oh, you talk about navigating back to the page. Well, what I'm talking about right now is uh, hooks. Yeah. Are you mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how does that work again? Who remembers the syntax for use effect? Folks, you've all been very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> It's an uh, anonymous function. Let me look this up before I hurt myself. Yep, so use effect, takes an anonymous function. When the art, so when state gets updated, I want to be able to say, all right, we want to all of our form, right? So I'm wondering if there's like an easy way to do that, like a form clear function. That'd be cool. I don't, I kind of doubt that it does, but. How do you use a reset a form using jQuery? We don't want to reset jQuery. Uh, is this HTML form element uh, DOM form reset. Oh, nice. That looks good. So let's try to use that. So we can say document query selector get a form that reset. The use effect should be running anytime our uh, article published changes. First page, have a new article. Oops, do they work? Oops. Well, <laughs> you have an error. What does that, what does my console say? Unprocessable entity. So the API saw that we didn't complete the form and gave us back an error 422. 
So I'm betting, so that probably shouldn't be here in our API articles because we got a 422. <coughs> yep, it didn't create that one. But we didn't really show, we need, we'll not, also want to make sure we show the user if something goes wrong. So we'll have to keep that in mind. So let's try it again. Hooks, do they work? All right, Noah, uh, maybe. All right. So in that case, it didn't seem to work. Let me try refreshing the page. Just double check. Jump data time. Okay, that time it worked. Mm -hmm. Ah, but if I do it again, what's the problem? Did I really, did I change, uh, set article published? No, I set it to true and it's still true now. So, in this case, maybe we want to do something like this. We reset the form. Let's also, you know, Let's make another thing in our state saying that if the request was a success or not. Or like something like, use state. Let's set that to, set that to false for now. And then we let's expand on this a bit. Let's say something like, so if response dot, actually, I'm going to console.log response again so I can know what I'm talking about. I want to be able to say, I should be able to see response.status, at least what I want. Undefined. Okay, so that's not it. Let me get the status code. Oh, and that error. So it's. So you should be able to say maybe if response dot error perhaps. If response that error, we can say set success to false, and also set what do we call it? Article posted. Is that what we called it? Article published to also false. And you know what? Let's also have errors. So we should be able to just get the error message from our, our what's it called? From our from our server and just display it on our page. As we look at this, okay, go again. Dang it, I need to console log it again to make sure, see what it is, see what it actually has. Actually, I believe it was, where were we? All right, let's console.log real quick. Let's console.log response.error this time. Did I break it? <laughs> Status code 422, name validation error here, and we have a message. Nice. So we can also set errors 
to response.error.message. Is that right? Message. And then down here, we could have something like if errors. Like that. Cool. Again, I'm doing this wrong. Unexpected. Uh, all right, I just need to say errors. <clears throat> so hit submit. Nice. So not very well formatted, but it works. So. Yeah, so we could do a little more effort to say like, all right, go into details, messages, and then go over each and every one of those and say what it says, but I'm not going to worry about that right now too much. But if I do something successfully, So we still haven't refreshed the page every single time. So use effect, we could also just set article published back to true or back to false, I suppose. We also need an else here. Set success to true. I guess article published and success should be the same thing. That was silly of me. I blame all of you for not calling me out. <laughs> I trust you. That was your first mistake. <laughs> so our quote too true. And then we can also have something up here that says Try this again. I still need to make sure that link actually goes back to the home page. So if I go down here, <laughs> here's all my nonsense articles. I wrote, but they're broken links. All right. Any questions on how we've made our form work, more or less? I thought we were supposed to use use effect as the way to do like state check. You might be right about that. Let's take a look at the documentation. The effect hook lets you perform side effects and function components. So it's similar to component did mount and component did update, it says. So the example they have here is they have a button that sets the count to plus one, and then when that happens, use effect says, all right, change the title to this. So use effect is very uh, versatile, it can be used for a lot of things. I feel like its most general use is when your state changes, you have this thing saying, okay, and I also want this to happen. So that's my, that's my impression of it, at least. It's here. So release two, let's take a look at this. I want to create a new page, another routine, the page component should be named login page. It displays a form. We have some different, different fields. This one just says dash event listener on submit in your event handle, please console.log the value, email and password fields. So we're not actually going to be handling validation and logins today. I believe that's tomorrow. So I'm going to leave you guys to do release two on your own, actually, because it's pretty simple. It's using it. You're going to be making a new page with a new form. The only new thing is that you're going to be getting a different type of input called password, which is the kind that actually senses your password when you're typing it in so that people can't just look over your shoulder and see it. 
Great. Any other questions on uh, news page five? Can you show us the just real quick walk through the ease effect implementation here that we did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just just walking it through. Yeah. So what, so after I add an article, I have a dot then and saying if there's an error, we set article post to false and set errors to the error. Otherwise, we set article post to true. Either way, no matter what happens, use effect is going to trigger. And when use effect triggers, all we told it to do is reset the form. And it's and it's triggering because it's tied, right? It's tied to both of these. Uh, these hooks right here, set errors and set article published. Um, whenever either of these change, use effect is going to automatically run. And the syntax that ties the, them to those is at the top. Yeah. So when we <clears throat> look at when we set something to use state and create this function here, set article published and set errors, uh, use effect is automatically tied to those. So anything that's Created with use state will also be triggered by use effect. Okay, I think that was just the case. Okay. And then the ID was coming up. We had an issue with the ID earlier that we kind of skipped over. Yeah, where it wasn't rendering the ID on my links. Is that what you mean? Yeah, don't I mean to go yeah. deep into it. I'm just going to. Yeah, any kind of I think guidance or. Uh, in this case, I really think this is my own personal error because you can see right here. Okay, that one works. So I'd have to take a look. Let's, we can actually take a look right now and take a look at all of our components. Uh, yeah, maybe like publishing new ones. Yeah, so I've got an article teaser here. Key equals 46. ID is 46. Okay, it works this time. Okay. Don't know why I wasn't working last time. <laughs> but I do. It's going to refresh. All right. All right. Uh, oh. No. All right, so I think I also didn't do the thing where I've made sure that the JSON, since the JSON starts at zero and the article should start at one, I forgot to balance that. Okay. I think that's what caused the issue here. So when I clicked on the last one, it was like, oh, I got you. So this one, yeah, this one takes me to React. It's the greatest. OK, so that was just my own messing up. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks. All right, any other questions? Feel ready to tackle uh, type this on your own? Everybody <laughs> here. You got this. All right, so, all right, let's take another break, another 10 minute break or so, and then back at 11.36, and you can get start, uh, or just go on for now, and you can get into, dive into, you say five. Can I just tell me your name? Yeah, one sec. Yeah, my mom is. Wow. <laughs> 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 <laughs>